We all, all of us, guilty, guilty. Amen. Made a lot of fun about the Seattle Seahawks. Sherman, the former wide receiver turned corner, just an average fifth round pick in my opinion. And I'm going to say you absolutely whiffed. I'm sitting next to two very, very smart men in Mel Kuyper Jr. and Todd McShay who work very hard at what they do. And you overdrafted almost every single position. But then to not take Andy Dalton at 25 when he's sitting there and to take some of these players that you overdrafted for, not that they're not good football players, to me is a travesty. I agree. Uh, Trent, I think it was a draft that's not going to help this team stay where they are, which is a playoff variety. Every single one of these picks, Picks. I do believe they could have gotten a better player at each one of those spots. Bruce Irvin in the first round? <laughs> what is this? Amateur hour? <laughs> I gave him a D. I think it's a I think it's a huge reach and a big mistake. Yeah, he'll make plays like a lot of great athletes do, but in the end he'll give up more plays than he makes. Bruce Irvin. Stinks. Bruce Irvin. Not gonna be a star, I don't think. That was a strange pick, 15th overall. And Pete Carroll in Seattle, reaching for Bruce Irvin, linebacker, defensive end out of West Virginia. He's a one-dimensional, one-trick pony. John, it, this is a shocking first-round jockey. I talked about this yes. kid yesterday. We had him in the second ground grade. I don't know why they took Bobby Wagner as the next pick. I think they could have gotten him on day three. Wagner can be just a tick slow to react, however, and he doesn't play to size. His hand uses also needs to improve and his agility and cha change of direction are average. Wagner lacks an extra gear and could struggle to handle NFL speed. PFW draft expert Noel Naraki sees Wagner as a late draftable pick. He's a developmental prospect who too often looked like Tarzan but played like Jane in college. His versatility is intriguing, but he lacks instincts for the middle and speed for the outside. Adam Shine loves five foot 11 third round backup quarterbacks. With big hands yeah! who win games. Who win cares? games. Who cares? Russell Wilson to me is negligible. You put him on the bench, what's he gonna do? Fine, great. And then the rest of the draft is a bunch of no names. I actually don't think Russell Wilson makes sense when you spend a lot of money on Matt Flynn to be your quarterback. Why would you draft a backup quarterback in the third round the same season? Look, he might be a good player, I'm fine. I don't know that many 5'11 quarterbacks who have succeeded in the NFL, and I certainly don't know many that go in the third round that are set to be the backup quarterbacks for life. Very good pick right there, not so much. Last year, I gave the Seahawks 2012 draft an F, and they went out and got Bruce Irvin, they went out and got Bobby Wagner, and they went out and got this quarterback that I thought was too small, didn't have the arm, really not that good a player, I don't know, maybe he was protected by a big offensive line at Wisconsin, named Russell Wilson, and I said, he's terrible, he's never gonna step on the NFL field. Russell Wilson was pretty good last year. I think they, yeah. they all were pretty good. So I'm giving them an A. Seahawks, I've questioned you before. The last two drafts, I've given them bad grades. You get an A. You could have drafted Joe Blow off the street. I was probably going <laughs> to give you an A this year. I like it. Seahawks, A. Uh, they now get an A+. Plus, but you know what? I gave them a C plus when I graded it initially back in 2012. Why? I wasn't sold on Russell Wilson, so it was a bad move in my mind from that standpoint. It ended up being a great move. I was wrong. Seattle hit that one. Wilson's under six foot height will limit him as he sometimes struggles to see the field. He opts to scramble before going all the way through his progressions. And he also has made some dubious late game decisions. Wilson has all the intangible scouts are seeking in a quarterback. And though he has an, a quality arm, he'll never be a prototypical NFL quarterback. That will push him down into the fourth or fifth round, according to our Nolan Naraki, although Wilson could fit as a part-time specialist who could be dangerous coming off the bench. If he were just a little taller, and I know, John, you could aggravate it when yeah, I am. And you say, boy, he is what he is. He's 5'10 and a half. We'll push it to 5'11. I say he's a test case.